Okay, so today we're going to talk about the order of operations, the colon operator, lin space function, and the prime operator. Um, I don't want to. I don't want to talk much about the order of operations because it's the same as um, order of operation in any math class or on a calculator. It's just PAMDAS. Um, it's a. Uh, it's something that you should probably already know if you're taking this class. Um, so I don't want to talk much about it. Um, let's jump into and talk about the colon operator. Um, so say you want to make a vector, a row vector, um, that contains um, elements 1 through 100,000 going up e by one number each time. So 1 through 100,000 um, with one number going up each time. So one, two, three, four, blah, 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 to 100,000. You don't want to sit there and type all of those into my lab because that would take you a long time. And let's be real, we don't have that kind of time. Um, so we have the colon operator, which allows you to do that in a matter of seconds. Um, so say you have a variable uh, name called ducks on the left hand side is equal to one which is your starting point. We want to start at 1. So you put 1 right here and then you put the colon operator and put 100,000 because that's where you want to end. Um, so it's as simple as that. The other way or the re the other way of writing it is by writing 1, the starting point, then uh, then you put a uh, set of colons right here, set of colon right here. Then you put one again, the number of spaces you want to go up by. Um, and then another set of colon. And then you put 100,000 because that's where you want to end. Um, this is another way of writing it, but if you don't put this one right here, if you just write this, um, MATLAB just assumes that you're going up by one, and that's why I didn't put anything right here. Um, now, you can probably guess the answer to this, but now say if you want a vector that contains the elements 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, and 17, what do you do? Um, it's basically the same thing you do right here. You put the first number you want to start at. Um, we want to start at 1, so we'll put 1 right here. Then we will put colon right here. Then we're going up, we're adding 2 each time, so 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 2 is 5, and so on. Um, and then we'll, we'll put the number where we want to end after this set of colon. So what it will do is it will start at 1. It, it tells, Malab says, start at 1. You're telling Malab to start at 1, then add to it, so you get to 3. Then you add another 2 to it, 5. So you keep doing that, 7, 9, 10, uh, 11, 13, 15 and then you eventually get to 17 and you're like alright stop we we got our array or our vector so you don't need to do anything else so the general form to for um, for using the colon operator is by saying um, by writing the variable name on the left hand side um, then you write an equal sign then you then you on the right hand side the first thing you write it's the starting number here we want to start at 1 and here we want to start at 1 again so we would put 1 or your starting number right here then you would put um, colon right here you see you put a colon right here and right there too um, then you want to the number you want to add every time so here we want to add 2 every time here we want to add 1 every time so you put the number you want to add you put colon one more time here here and then you have your ending number where you want to end here we want to end at 17 here we want to end at 100,000 um, so you put your ending number here now so that's basically all you need to know for um, col the colon operator and it's something that helps a lot um, you like I said you don't want to sit up there and type all these numbers it's just one, uh, you just type this small code and you're done um, um, now I have a question before moving on to lean space function. What if you said range is equal to one colon two colon eighteen? What would you get? Um, 
pause the video, think about it for a second um, before I run the before I already run the video um, the file. So I'm just gonna type it here. Just pause it, pause the video and think about it for a second, um, and then I'm gonna run it now. So here you see the range goes from 1 through 17 and not 18. It's because it says, okay, let's start at 1, go up by 2 every time until we get to 18. But once you get to 17, um, at 18 you have to stop and you cannot add 2 more, which is also a requirement. So you stop at 17 and not 18. It's something I'm sure you would have picked up if you did a problem or two. Um, but I just wanted to point it out. It's not. It's nothing that bit. It's not that big of a deal but just wanted to point it out okay so moving on to lean space function um, I want before I give you a few examples I want to talk about the variable um, the format that it uses it's it's a function so you have your variable name at the left hand side of the equal sign then you have your equal sign then you start with lin space and then in parentheses you put where you want to start um, similar to here where you want to start but inside this set of parentheses right here um, where you want to end um, and then the number of elements you want um, so here for example my variable name is x is equal to lin space I want to start at 0 um, I want to end at 10 and I want 101 total elements so what this will do is it will make an array uh, or a vector x that has 101 elements in it. Um, it will, they will start at 0 and at 10. Um, it includes both 0 and 10. Um, uh, same goes for y. For y here, y is equal to lin space 0, comma, 20, comma, 101, which means you start at 0, um, you end at 20, both inclusive, and it should have 101 even spaces in between. Um, before I run it, you should probably pause it and try typing in your own um, MATLAB and then see if you get the, you should get the same answer, but it's also practicing, so. Okay, I'm going to run it now. X and then Y. So X we see already, um, it's up, it has 101 elements, which we said it should have. Um, it ends at 10. Um, we said it should end at 10 and it starts at zero and we said it should start at zero um, so it does that and the same should go for y so I'm going to type in y here see what we get um, see here we end at 20 again 20 we have 101 elements 101 elements right here and we start at zero so um, Linspace is a good function that you need to know when you graph things um, because you know the more points you graph the better you get the picture and so forth um, so that's all I want to talk about for for Linspace function now let's talk about the prime operator which is really helpful to um, here we saw that um, I'm going to bring this work my workspace out so you can see um, here we saw that um, x uh, is a row vector. Um, right here, it's a it's a vector of size one by one hundred and one, which means it's a row vector. Um, so it will go down one and one hundred and one spaces to the right. Um, same with y. Now, say you want you want it to be a column vector instead. Um, what would you do? All you have to do is use this prime operator right here, putting a prime after it. So column x, that's my variable name, is equal to x prime. When I put this prime, um, what I'm saying is that turn that row vector into a column vector. Um, that's precisely what the prime operator does. It turns a row vector into a column vector and a column vector into a row vector. Um, it's as simple as that. The, sa the same thing goes for y. Um, now it's a uh, it's what when I run if I run this code right now, it will give me column x. Would that would be a column vector and a column y? That would be a um, a column vector as well. Now 
I don't want to, if I run it, it will be too long to um, show you this one column. That's why I have these two examples um, right here. Here we have a is equal to a vector that goes from 1 through 4, um, skipping one number, uh, going up by one number each time. And it's a row vector. Um, so if I type in a here, I already ran the program, so I don't need to run it again. Um, I you see that it's a one by four um, vector. It goes down by one or one, and then four to the right. Um, so then if I run b, which is equal to a prime, meaning that it, since this is a row vector, uh, b should be a column vector. Let's see if it actually is a column vector. Um, yes, it is. See, b goes down four and one over. So meaning that it's a column vector, it's a four by one vector instead of a instead of one by four vector. Um, now, what happens if you transpose a matrix? I'm pretty sure you can already guess what's going to happen um, when you after you saw these two examples. Um, since this is a two by three matrix, uh, if you transpose it, it should turn rows into column and column into rows. So what do you think you would get when you do d is equal to c prime? Um, uh, it, it should do exactly what you think uh, it should do. It would turn um, this into a 3 by, so d would be equal to a 3 by 2 matrix since c was equal to a 2 by 3 matrix. Um, it basically switches uh, rows and columns. So if I type in c, we see that it's a 2 by 3 matrix. And then if I type in D, you will see that it's a 3 by 2 matrix. Um, that's because um, when you transpose, uh, when you use the prime operator, you switch number of rows and columns. That's precise, precisely what's happening here, too, with row vectors and column vectors. Um, it goes from 1 by 101 to 101 by 1. Um, so that's, so in general, if you have a matrix or of size n n, n by m, which is um, vectors are also matrices, the transpose operator turns it into a m by n matrix. So it basically switches um, the number of rows and columns. Um, so that's all for this video. I also have, um, if you want kind of something to screenshot, this is basically what we talked about um, in this video. Um, I made this, but I don't know if you. Okay, I still want you. I still want to talk about um, this before I um, end it. Okay, so here we talked about what this is. I still want you to think about what's happening um, inside the computer, um, since this is a call a row vector that goes from one through one hundred thousand. Inside the computer, it says, okay, so there's um, make a take some space call it ducks and then make um, make 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 it so that there are 100,000 um, spots in it inside of it and then put all this elements inside it um, that's basically what it says um, so this is not something that I'm going to talk about from here it's just something that um, you want to keep in the back of your head to see where things are going where variables are actually being put um, it will help you when you're trying to use loops later on. Um, when you have to get a specific um, value from the from 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 an array or a vector or even a matrix, you will do that. Um, it will help you then. So think, start thinking of it this way. It, it will definitely help you. If there's a better way you can think of, then definitely do that too. But whatever helps you is fine. Um, thank you for watching. See you next time.